Planet Dolan. From collectors of deer urine to professional cuddlers, we count 13 strange and unusual jobs that pay surprisingly well. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. Hello there, my name is Shima, and I'll be your feline narrator today. So here we go. Number 13. If you think every throat tickle is tuberculosis and every scraped knee requires amputation, then maybe you should consider becoming a professional patient. Even if you aren't a hypochondriac, this is still a noble profession that will help the next generation of doctors. Basically, a professional patient volunteers their time and body so that med school students can hone skills as physicians and improve their bedside manner. In one session, you might receive 17 physicals, or if you want to be paid more, you can volunteer for more invasive procedures like pap smears or getting your prostate examined multiple times by teams of inexperienced doctors. They're pretty much just going to be sticking their fingers right up your buttonhole. Number 12. Apparently, deer urine is packed with pheromones that drive bugs completely local. This makes it the lure of choice of deer hunters and creates a weird market for animal pee. Deer farmers actually collect and sell the undiluted pee of their white-tailed deer. Since there are more than 17 million deer hunters in the US, there is plenty of demand and plenty of opportunity to make some serious coin. A single deer is between 93,000 to 300,000 worth of pee in it each year. It's about that time to start working in the pee market, you know what I'm saying? Number 11. Deer farmers may weep at this, but over 1.5 million deer are hit by cars each year. I gotta hold a moment of silence for the deers. It's like all that pee money all down the drain. Oh man, a moment of silence, everybody. Plenty of other animals get collected by cars too, usually while scurrying across the road in poor weather conditions. It's the roadkill's collector's job to pick them up. Collectors must scan the road for animal carcasses, play a little bit of frogger with the traffic, you know, just dodging cars like you know, it's all cool and matrix style, and dispose of what they find at landfills or compost heaps. If you're game, roadkill collection can be a pretty lucrative job with a minimum wage of $25,000 a year. Number 10. If your mom keeps giving you grief about spending 14 hours a day on the couch, Tell her you're training to be the best damn furniture tester ever. This unusual job exists because robots haven't yet developed the ability to give feedback about how comfortable furniture is. As you might have guessed, testers sit for long periods on manufacturers' furniture to give feedback. This human touch gives furniture makers insight into what is comfortable and tells them what material they should use and how high or low to build something. For their efforts, furniture testers average $31,000 a year. Probably get freebies too. Man, I really need to just... I, I need to get this job because sitting on a couch and not doing shit is awesome. Number nine, ice cream tasters are employed by dairy companies to taste and assist in the creation of different flavors of ice cream. John Harrison is the official taste tester for a company called Dreyer's. He goes by the alias, the ice cream man, and has tasted a few hundred million gallons of the stuff over the years. His taste buds are reportedly insured for a million dollars. God damn, a million dollars? Yo, man, you need to pass me some of that chocolate. Seems like a pretty cool job then. For their efforts, ice cream tasters make a whopping $56,000 a motherfucking year on... Am, did I read that, that much money to eat some ice cream? And I need to find this job. I guess they would be subjected to gross flavors like licorice and ugh, wasabi. Mm. You couldn't pay me enough for that shit. That's for damn sure. Number 8. The police may clean the streets of crime, but they don't clean the crime scenes. That would be a job for the crime scene cleaner! Taking apart meth labs, hosing down horrific blood baths that would make Dexter pause, or cleaning up the latest anthrax, whoops, makes this an unpopular job choice. Being plenty dangerous, it's important that the workers are well compensated. For surrounding themselves with all that gore and tragedy, crime scene cleaners bring in around $600 an hour. Obviously, this job isn't for the squeamish types. Number 7. Despite what you may think about those guys scuba diving in the lake at the local driving range, that's actually their job. Golf ball divers make anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 a year, but it's not as easy as it looks. According to Dick Smith, owner of the diving school Midwest Diving Specialists, yes, there's a school for this, a golf ball diver must love treasure hunting, be full of testosterone, and complete an actual golf ball diving course. The testosterone is apparently to help divers deal with the snapping turtles, water moccasins, and alligators, which you'll regularly see if you follow this thrilling career path. Number 6. It might seem less than glamorous, but elevator mechanic is one of the best paying blue collar jobs around. An elevator mechanic is responsible for repairing and installing elevators, escalators, and any other kind of lift. No work experience is usually required, just a good attitude and a high school diploma. 
Most technicians rise up through the ranks by completing an apprenticeship. Although their careers have many ups and downs, money sure isn't one of them, with most earning a minimum of $75,000 a year. The top percent earn upwards of $100,000 a year, but the likelihood of this is as elusive as the 13th floor. Number 5. If you've always wondered how screens at IMAX theater stay so immaculately clean and like, you know you have, it might interest you to learn that it isn't magic pixies or there's weird lawn gnomes that seem to be everywhere you look. No, it's someone's actual job to come in and clean those massive screens. These screens get surprisingly dirty, not just because of natural dirt and dust, but because lovely patrons often throw soda and gummy bears at them. What a waste of gummy bears. For an average salary of $45,000 a year, IMAX screen cleaners use lamb's wool, an aluminium pole, and a specialized electronic cleaning device to clean the screens in horizontal and then vertical sweeps. Essentially, these guys have to clean the screens twice, so maybe think twice before chucking your snacks at the screen. Number 4. Sommeliers, also known as wine stewards or professional wine snobs, handle everything to do with wine at an upscale restaurant. In short, fermented grapes are their jam. For an average salary of $50,000 a year, sommeliers answer customer questions, provide recommendations, and travel to vineyards to scout and buy wine from distributors. To be a sommelier, you need many years of wine tasting experience and complete training in a certification program. So years of alcohol abuse and getting smashed on $2 wine won't get you this gig. But if you are looking to get in this field, employers like it if you talk a lot of pretentious bullshit during the interview. Might want to work on your voice too. I got a feeling if you go up to one of these places and say rich apple fades to reveal hints of spice and a long finish, you probably won't get too far. Number three. Not to be confused with escorts, professional snugglers, or platonic companions who cuddle strangers for money. Professional snugglers make around $60 an hour for spooning, conversation, and emotional intimacy. Their cuddle-depraved clientele is mostly made up of people who feel unworthy of physical intimacy. For example, those suffering depression, social anxiety, abuse victims, and those with disabilities or physical disfigurements. It's an unusual job with a sexual stigma, but hey, everybody needs a good cuddle sometimes. Not me, though. Cuddle my butt. All right, are we done with that one? Good, come here, Mr. Fluffy. I'm gonna cuddle you so much. Oh, I love you so much. You're a good Mr. Fluffy. Number two. If you're a chronic masturbator who can't stop flicking the bean or making the bishop cry, you may be thinking there aren't any jobs out there tailored to your unique skill set. You'd be wrong. Sex toy testers are employed by manufacturers to test out the functionality and safety of their products before they hit the mass market. Whoa, 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 wait, safety? Uh, you can count me out on that one. I really don't want to get my dick ripped off by a fleshlight. But if you're brave enough, you can make $39,000 a year masturbating. I hope the janitor for that place is equally compensated. Number one. Those blessed with a superior snout can follow the example of dogs and turn their gift into a full-fledged career. Odor testing is very important to a lot of manufacturers. No one's gonna buy a floor cleaning product that smells like burning garbage. That's why they employ professional smellers to whiff perfumes, wines, candles, and air fresheners. Workers in this field have been known to sniff out as much as 39000 a year. However, there are some drawbacks. Those who work for deodorant companies might have to spend the day smelling strangers' armpits. Or maybe even experimental sex toys. Ugh. No, it's bad. It's bad. Get it away. <coughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Risking their lives to assess an outbreak and try to contain it. Where doctors generally deal with infectious diseases in small proportions, these guys deal exclusively in it. They're up to their elbows in diseased people and diseased corpses, which, as you can imagine, is beyond icky.